The Cold War was a time of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. This period was marked by a fierce competition for technological and ideological supremacy, with each side striving to outdo the other in every conceivable arena. This rivalry extended far beyond Earth into the vast expanse of space. The space race became a symbol of national pride and technological prowess, capturing the imagination of people around the world. When the United States unveiled its space shuttle, a revolutionary reusable spacecraft, the Soviets felt compelled to respond. The space shuttle represented a significant leap forward in space travel, with its ability to be launched, returned, and reused multiple times. Their answer was Buran, a spacecraft with a strikingly familiar silhouette, designed to challenge NASA's dominance in space. The Buran program was ambitious, aiming to match and even surpass the capabilities of the American space shuttle. The space shuttle, with its ability to return from orbit and land like an airplane, captivated the world. Its missions were broadcast globally, showcasing the technological might of the United States and inspiring a new generation of scientists and engineers. The Soviets, never to be outdone, embarked on their own ambitious endeavor to create a reusable spacecraft. This was no small feat, requiring immense resources, cutting-edge technology, and the dedication of countless engineers and scientists. This marked the beginning of the Buran program, a testament to the Soviet Union's engineering prowess and determination to maintain its position as a leading power in space exploration. The program was a bold statement of intent, signaling that the Soviets were serious contenders in the ongoing space race. The Buran program was shrouded in secrecy, hidden behind the Iron Curtain that separated East from West. Despite the secrecy, whispers of the Soviets' ambitious plans began to circulate, adding an element of intrigue and suspense to the unfolding space race narrative. While the world marveled at the space shuttle's missions, the Soviets were quietly developing their own space plane, drawing inspiration from their rival's design, but incorporating their own unique technological innovations. The Buran was not just a copy, it was a sophisticated piece of engineering in its own right. The stage was set for a new chapter in the space race, one that would pit two technological titans against each other in a quest for supremacy beyond the bounds of Earth. This rematch in the cosmos would push the boundaries of human ingenuity and redefine what was possible in space exploration. The Buran program was born in the 1970s, fueled by the Soviet Union's ambition to match the United States' capabilities in space. The Cold War was at its peak, and space was the new frontier where superpowers vied for supremacy. The Soviets recognized the strategic importance of a reusable spacecraft, one that could ferry payloads and astronauts to and from orbit multiple times, a concept that promised not only technological prestige, but also practical advantages, reducing the cost of space exploration. The economic benefits were clear, a reusable spacecraft would significantly cut down on the expenses associated with launching missions. This realization ignited a fire within the Soviet space program, sparking a renewed sense of purpose and urgency, leading to the formation of a dedicated team tasked with bringing Buran to life. This team was composed of some of the brightest minds in Soviet aerospace engineering. At the helm of this ambitious endeavor was Valentin Glushko, a renowned Soviet rocket engineer, who had played a pivotal role in the Soviet space program's early successes. Glushko's expertise and leadership were instrumental in navigating the complex challenges ahead. Glushko, a visionary in the field of rocketry, had a deep understanding of propulsion systems and spacecraft design. He understood the complexities of designing a spacecraft capable of withstanding the rigors of atmospheric re-entry and landing back on Earth. This was no small feat, as it required innovative solutions to ensure the spacecraft's integrity and safety. Under his guidance, a team of brilliant engineers and scientists embarked on a journey to create a spacecraft that would rival, if not surpass, the American Space Shuttle. Their mission was clear, to demonstrate Soviet prowess in space technology. The development of Buran was a monumental undertaking, involving years of research, development and testing, requiring the collaboration of numerous research institutes, design bureaus and manufacturing plants across the Soviet Union. Each entity brought its own expertise and resources to the table, contributing to the project's overall success. The program's scale was a testament to the Soviet Union's centralized planning and its ability to mobilize vast resources towards achieving national goals. This centralized approach allowed for efficient coordination and allocation of resources, 
Thousands of engineers, technicians, and workers dedicated themselves to the project, working tirelessly to overcome the numerous technical challenges they faced. Driven by a shared sense of national pride and a desire to push the boundaries of human ingenuity, their collective efforts were not just about building a spacecraft, they were about making a statement on the global stage. Buran, meaning snowstorm or blizzard in Russian, was not merely a copy of the space shuttle, it was a marvel of Soviet engineering, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of its creators. While its outward appearance bore a resemblance to its American counterpart, the Buran was a different beast altogether. Beneath the surface lay a tapestry of unique design choices and technological innovations that set it apart. The Soviets, known for their pragmatic approach to engineering, sought to create a spacecraft that was not only reusable, but also incredibly robust and reliable. They aimed to push the boundaries of what was possible in space travel. One of Buran's most distinguishing features was its thermal protection system, designed to shield the spacecraft from the intense heat generated during atmospheric re-entry. This system was a critical component for ensuring the spacecraft's safe return to Earth. Unlike the space shuttle, which relied on fragile ceramic tiles, Buran's heat shield was composed of thousands of reusable quartz fiber panels. These panels were a significant advancement in thermal protection technology. These panels, meticulously crafted and fitted to the spacecraft's contours, offered superior durability and reusability, reflecting the Soviet emphasis on practicality and longevity. The attention to detail in their design and installation was remarkable. The heart of Buran's propulsion system was the Energia rocket, a true behemoth of a launch vehicle. This rocket was a masterpiece of engineering in its own right. Energia, meaning energy in Russian, was one of the most powerful rockets ever built, capable of heaving over 100 tons into low Earth orbit. Its sheer power and capability were unmatched at the time. This raw power was necessary to loft Buran, weighing in at over 80 tons, into space. The combination of Buran and Energia represented the pinnacle of Soviet space technology. Energia's design was modular allowing it to be adapted for various missions, showcasing the Soviet Union's foresight in creating a versatile launch system. This adaptability was a key factor in its design, ensuring it could meet the diverse needs of the Soviet space program. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Buran's design was its fully automated landing system. In a feat of engineering that seemed like science fiction at the time, Buran was capable of returning from orbit and touching down on a runway without any human intervention. This was a testament to the Soviet Union's prowess in the fields of computing, control systems, and artificial intelligence. Buran's automated landing system relied on a sophisticated network of sensors, computers, and actuators. As the spacecraft pierced through the Earth's atmosphere, its onboard computers would constantly monitor its position, speed, and orientation, making minute adjustments to its flight path to ensure a safe and precise landing. This level of automation was unprecedented in spaceflight, demonstrating the Soviet Union's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what was possible. The decision to equip Buran with a fully automated landing system was driven by both practical and ideological considerations. From a practical standpoint, automation reduced the risk associated with human error, particularly during the critical phase of atmospheric re-entry and landing. Ideologically it showcased the Soviet Union's belief in the power of technology and its vision of a future where machines could perform complex tasks with unmatched precision and reliability. In 1988, the Buran spacecraft embarked on its first and only mission. This historic flight was unmanned, yet it demonstrated the incredible capabilities of Soviet space engineering. The Buran orbited the Earth twice, showcasing its advanced automated systems. Despite its success, the program was eventually halted due to economic constraints. The legacy of Buran remains a testament to human ingenuity and ambition in space exploration. Despite the initial success, the Buran program faced significant challenges. Financial constraints, shifting political landscapes, and technological hurdles all contributed to the turbulence. The program's ambitious scope was both its greatest strength and its most formidable obstacle. By the early 1990s the political and economic climate had changed dramatically. The Soviet Union had dissolved, leaving the Buran program without its primary benefactor. 
With no funding and a new set of national priorities, the program was officially cancelled in 1993. Though the Buran Space Shuttle never flew again, its legacy endures. The technological advancements and engineering feats achieved during the program have influenced space exploration efforts worldwide. Even in its silence, Buran remains a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. The Buran program stands as a testament to what can be achieved through relentless ambition and innovation. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of insurmountable odds, the pursuit of knowledge and progress is a journey worth undertaking. The echoes of Buran's legacy continue to inspire future generations of explorers and dreamers.